someone was keying cars in Westchester County, and police have arrested a grandmother for the crime. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And welcome back, I'm Maurice Dubois. It was an ending that no one saw coming to a mystery in Westchester County. Police have charged a 75-year-old with vandalizing her neighbor's cars. CBS 2's Lou Young has the story now from Eastchester. Pardon me. Would you happen to be Maria? Unlikely defendant Maria Brocky has surrendered Wednesday on criminal mischief charges for a series of car vandalisms in the Eastchester co op development called Interlaken Gardens. The 75 year old woman's attorney is as dumbfounded as anyone. I've never seen anything like it, so there's got to be an explanation. Cars at the co op were keyed with such regularity, resident Prisca Diaz set up her own surveillance. I wanted to really see who is this individual who's terrorizing us. Residents thought they'd caught the vandal's image last week, a young man moving through the parking lot in the dead of night. They were wrong. Police took a closer look and found something they'd missed. We all uh, kind of assumed that it was a younger person. You know, you jump to conclusions, but the evidence, you know, is conclusive, and, uh, and we are quite shocked. The image was caught on the co-op's own security system, taken hours before Prisca Diaz even set up her own security camera. They looked at it over and over again. Detectives and management couldn't believe their eyes. The culprit was literally someone above suspicion. There is no explanation. She's a wonderful woman. She's a lovely woman, a mother, a grandmother. Uh, loved in the community, so there is no explanation. Suspicion among neighbors, some of whom are also victims of the vandalism, is that Mrs. Brachia is depressed following the death of her husband. They believe the mystery, though, has been solved in a surprising way. I would certainly will never suspect that a 70-plus-year-old woman yet <laughs> is doing this. The lady down the block. The lady down the block, yeah. The camera never lies, even if the truth is hard to fathom. We're in East Chester, Lou Young, CBS 2 News. For her initial court appearance, Maria Brachia pleaded not guilty.